looking for right here is underripe fruit, right? It should be like these green little berries, which you like to get. But this fruit, this is the this fruit this is just sorting great. itself. This, yeah, this yeah, is a great. Fruit. This is a great sight. You can see there's not a lot of leaves in here, which means you know if they're picking through, knows what they're doing. Um, uh, this is one of the vineyards. Just grab a cluster, shocker, and bite right. They can't really want to chew on them and the taste will tell you whether whether they're ripe or not. Mm -hmm. If they have sort of a brown brown taste or like chewing on a stick that means they're lignified yep. and they're ripe. Yep. I think people like, like it. I think they just want the Maniac Cab to uh, go. I like so it's still. Uh, you got a nice community. That's a nice thing. You know it's a hu it's humbling if nothing else. This, uh, this fruit here that's actually still soaking is uh, Cabernet from the Godspeed vineyard. In fact, you know, the, the Vignac group is going to be making a wine based from four different vineyards. And I would consider the Godspeed Cab one of the, one of the foundations of the wine. There's going to be basically two of the lots that are going to be the foundation, and the other two are going to be kind of the, the stuffing and the envelope. So what you have there in your glass is actually a juice that's about five days old after about 12 days of fermentation is this is what the what the end result will look like. You can see the, the ridiculous difference yeah. in what and in just a matter of 10 days. You it's got something that's inky. This is an experience a lot of people need to come and try. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. So many people taste wine when it comes out out of the bottle and then they taste it a year or two later and they don't see a huge difference and I don't think they really realize, you know what I mean? The whole right. process mm -hmm. of how much a wine changes from this. Oh, to this, two weeks, right? to um, you know, six months from now, yep, yep. to the bottle. This is great. I mean, I'm super pumped with the, the quality of this fruit, and um, I've I've never yeasted before, so I'm ready to get going on that. There bottle. you go. So what we're doing? We're gonna get that nice and uh, nice and pinked up. Because what this does, one, it gives sugar to the so water, so it. it gets the yeast kind of warmed up. Plus. It's got the temperature of what the bin is at, and it's going to acclimate the yeast to the environment that we're going to be putting the yeast in. Very cool. I, in. Did, I did not know that. That's pretty so, cool. So, what I need you to do now mm -hmm. is you're going to dump the yeast in there. Yep. Go ahead. Just pour it all in, and go in there and uh, mix it up. Mix it up. There you go. Mix it up nice and good. Okay. Nice. Kind of give it a little vortex. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got it. You did a great job. Look I'm, at this I'm, volcano. I'm, I'm a yeast natural. You, you must know? be. There must be something <laughs> special there's in those hands. Something here. All right. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is you're gonna be making a little bit of a, of a kind of a reception area for okay. the yeast. Good. Look, Look at, at that, that color right now. Yeah, I mean, my goodness. Awesome. When it warms up, that's gonna go to town. And make sure it all goes in there because you got a lot of foam on top, but you got all that good liquid at the bottom of that. Uh, of that. The key. There you go. That's I want to make sure this is good wine. So. So what will happen in the next? Few hours. It's already invading. Yeah, you see, yeah, exactly. in the next few hours, it's it'll invading. it'll start to grow and it'll start to acclimate to its new environment, which is all this delicious, sweet juice with a lot of sugar in there. And the temperature is a little cool right now, but as fermentation starts and it generates the carbon dioxide and it converts warm. the sugar into alcohol, yeah, it'll get nice and warm. And then you'll have the skins basically form a cap, which is what you see here. So Gary, officially, this is the very first Vaniac bin that's been inoculated. So very it's good that you get to do it. And then, you know, I, I think you can it's leave the rest to the, right? to, to, to the pros. No, not to say that's that right. you didn't do a good job. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> it. This is great. Super excited. We'll take this barrel home.